Good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and uh, this afternoon our uh, talk is going to be our uh, field about field trip 10 part 2. So uh, on field trip 10 we had a hive here that was cleanless. So what I did was I, t I took seven frames of brood out of these three hives and uh, added them to the bottom with the hope of that they'd make their own queen. So what I've done is I've got plenty of smoke going here because we've had a bit of rain here and there's a great big puddle at the, gu at the entrance where I drive in and uh, I think they had more rain here than what we did at home. So, uh, so, so I've taken one frame out and I can find some brood in here. Uh, beautiful sealed brood and uh, uh, you can get a close up there. You can see everything here from uh, newly newly laid eggs to sealed brood. Uh, there's a bit of chalk brood disease in this hive. Uh, you can see how the brood has turned into a, a lump of chalk with a it's a uh, fungal disease isn't it Wilma the yes, chalk brood. Right. So we've had, well, a, we've had a lot of muggy wet weather. Had a lot of rain and that so uh, uh, so hopefully, yeah, there's a, another br brood there that didn't get sealed over and you can see it's turning into a lump of chalk. So the chalk brood disease seems to sort of work its way out when you get some fine weather. Uh, doesn't concern me as much as the American sour brood does. But still not, not, that, not good to have. Uh, so just going to have a look and see if we can find the queen, just to, just to show and tell, really. So we know the queen's in here. Um, oh, look at that, that's beautiful. There's some beautiful uh, brood on, on there. Uh, you can see the honey's like a sort of a half a football pattern there. And you've got a, a sprinkling of uh, pollen all the way around it and then you've got brood anywhere from newly laid eggs to sealed brood uh, that, to me that's beautiful uh, let's see if I can find the queen it's, gonna... it's a bit late in the afternoon here the bees are relatively quiet for all the overcast wet weather we've had aren't they? Yeah, well, I gave them a good dose of smoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that one's got a bit of chalk brood disease in it. See, so, yeah, I think what the uh, trick is to uh, get get rid of these old black combs. See, that one's old and black. Yeah. And that other frame I pulled out was a, a relatively new frame and it didn't have any chalk brood disease. So that might be a plan to just keep on replacing these old black combs. Uh, she's in here somewhere. See, I'm not sure how. Probably should have put a timer on there, Wilma, and then, uh, then we'll know when to... I think we'll sort of know when we've done enough. It doesn't matter if we don't find the queen. Uh, the main thing is we know that she's laying eggs. Uh, there's, uh, there's a cell uh, where uh, one of the one of the cells they made. Oh yes. I think that's not. I, I think that. That may not be the one that she came out of because it's been chewed out of the side. Yeah, just have a quick look at the other frame. Yeah, this one here. Getting a little bit aggro. 
They're probably wanting to get ready for bed. Yeah. However, the bees don't go to bed. <laughs> they just keep on working. They just keep on working. Yeah, uh, she might be on this one. If I don't find her on this one, I'll pack, I'll pack it up. Can't find her. But, uh... Anyway, we know she's there. That's the main thing. So uh, doesn't matter. You, you you can see some queens on our other uplays anyway. <laughs> so anyway, we'll close off now and we'll say goodbye and uh, we'll catch you next time. All the best. Bye. Bye.